In this tech brief video, I'll use Can Open Magic Professional and Can Open Magic Ultimate to show you extended tracing and logging features provided by these programs. Can Open Magic Professional and Ultimate have a few additional features when it comes to tracing and uh, logging. As you can see, we have a lot of traffic going on here, and this is only from currently a total of four simulated nodes. So if I go back to fixed, I see we have our nodes four, five, six, and number 16. So only four nodes already produce quite a bit of traffic. When you are interested in debugging something, then you might be interested in only getting access to a few messages and would like to filter what's going in here into your trace. So we can do configure filter and we can say, well, for one, let's say at a certain point, I just want to know if the have an overview, which nodes are there and are they all happy and fine? Then we could say, well, then we'll only look at do it a pass filter and say we are only looking at heartbeats, for example. OK, so if I said OK, then this filter you can see now, well, I'll have to clear the trace again to make this visible. Suddenly is only displaying the heartbeats. Now to still see what else is going on, we can open additional fan, uh, windows. So we can do another trace. So the trace one is filtered, this one. Now we can go to trace number two and say, well, maybe for this one, I'm only interested in, let's see, the SDO transfers. So, okay, and start recording. And I can now see only the SDO transfers, this one. And we can add even more traces and could say, well, the filters can be combined and can be negative also. So we could say, I really, for example, am not interested in heartbeats at all. Then we would make it a stop filter instead of a pass filter. And we'll say again, heartbeats. And the display will now show us everything but heartbeats. So if I go back here to the fixed sequence, we can already see, yep, heartbeats are missing. So these filters are a nice way to make sure that you only have a look at the data you're truly interested in. And now when I stop this, then of course, also when it comes to saving, this is already a filtered tray. So when I would save this, I would only save what is in this individual trace buffers. Now, talking about trace buffers, these are limited in, in size. If you have really long logs to generate, then you should be using this button here, Enable Continuous Recording. Now, with this, we can continuously record all the traffic here um, until you're running out of disk space uh, to a file. And the recording format is again CSV, comma, separated values. So you can easily import the file recorded to Excel or a similar program. Please note that the bus load value up here displayed is for the individual trace only. So you can use the filters to also find out the individual bus load value caused by a particular kind of messages. So here the 0.05% is the bus load just caused by the SDO communication currently visible here. For completeness, allow me to explain the other tool buttons in here. The uh, scripting allows you to use Python scripts to filter your trace. So we have a few scripts pre-provided and uh, there are some trace filters and interpreters also, for example, for J1939. So there are various Python scripts to choose from or that you can edit yourself to 
do high-end filtering of the trace recording. And last, the two linking icons here are to link traces from multiple instances of Can Open Magic Ultimate. So if you have multiple instances of Can Open Magic running, then these could be hooked up to individual CAN ports and you could have on your PC, let's say, three different CAN ports. You start three instances of CAN Open Magic and each of them is linked to one port. Now, with the but these buttons here, we can link these instances and you can combine traces or logs coming from different ports into one.